G'day guys, my name's Ben and you're watching The Long Gun Project. Now in this episode, I'm gonna be doing a quick tech specs rundown on my 300 Norma Magnum, which I featured in last episode. Now from that episode, I got a bunch of comments asking for more details on the rifle itself and the load that I used. So that's what this episode is all about. Now, if you haven't watched my previous episode, which is episode 15, this video may not make a whole lot of sense on its own. So I'd highly recommend going back and watching episode 15 after this to see how this rifle performed in the field when we took it and shot it to distance for the first time. So without any more mucking around, let's dive straight into the details of the rifle. Now this rifle package was brought together by Steve at Practical Rifle Solutions in the ACT. The chassis is the MDT ACC chassis with V5 adjustable butt assembly. The chassis features an integrated full length Arca rail forend as well as chassis weights. Now the chassis is cut to accept 3.850 inch ACIS single stack single feed magazines. Now the heart of the rifle is the Defiance long action. These actions are super smooth and beautifully made and this one is no exception. This action has been bedded into the chassis to ensure that it's under no twisting or bending pressures when it's torqued down. Now this action is mated to a Trigger Tech Diamond single stage trigger which is adjustable as you would expect. And I've got this trigger set to just under one kilogram. And that then brings us to the barrel. This barrel is a stainless steel heavy profile straight taper 30 inch barrel from Hardy in New Zealand. This is a one in eight right hand twist, which is a new twist rate that, that I only just started doing. And if you've watched the last episode, you'll know that this barrel definitely shoots. Moving down to the muzzle, we have the APA Gen 2 Fat Bastard Brake. Now this brake isn't threaded for 5.8x24 as you would expect, but instead Steve has chosen to use a 3 quarter inch thread. Now he's done this specifically to leave more barrel material around the bore of the rifle. As for accessories, the rifle came with the MDT Skypod and all the chassis weights, as well as the MDT vertical grip and the Weebad cheek riser cover. This package comes with a 7 to 35 by 56 Night Force ATAC R scope in Night Force rings, but I've changed the mounts to my Spur SP4901 9mm canted mount. This mount, coupled with the 30 MOA integral canted Picatinny rail on the Defiance Action, gives me a grand total of 61 minutes of angle of cant, which works out to be approximately 17.74 MRAT. This amount of cant means that I am literally on the absolute bottom of the scope's adjustment range at 100 meters, but it also means that I have the ability to use every mil radian of elevation that is in the scope. Now I've also added an MDT Mirage shield on the fore end to reduce heat blur affecting my sight picture on long strings of fire. Now this rifle was created with its overall length in mind to ensure that it is transportable in a gun bag or a hard case with the muzzle brake removed and the stock adjusted to its shorter setting and it'll fit in most standard gun safes. Now that pretty much covers the rifle. Now let's have a look at the ammo. I'm using Lapour brass full length sized with a shoulder bump of not more than two thousandths of an inch. I'm using Federal Gold Metal Match Large Rifle Magnum Primers and I'm using 82 grains of ADI AR2225 or Rotumbo. The projectile I'm using is the super slippery and heavy Burger Hunter Elite 245 grain projectile which has a G7BC of 0.413. Now I'm jumping these projectiles approximately 50 thousandths of an inch and it's leaving the muzzle of my rifle at 2,895 feet per second. Now this ammo is precise in this rifle and very consistent. Guys, that pretty much sums up the tech specs of the rifle and the ammunition that I used in my previous episode when shooting out to 2,000 meters. Now, if you haven't seen that video, it's episode 15 on this channel, so I suggest you go and check it out now. Well guys, that pretty much wraps up this very brief episode of The Long Gun Project. I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please let me know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to hit like, share it with your mates, and also subscribe with notifications so that you can see each new video when it comes out. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you all again on the next episode of The Long Gun Project. See you later.